Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you some of the properties related to the drop down. So, one of the things over here, we have seen that uh, we can select one single particular value and it will work fine. But uh, if you have seen it in the real life, let's say in a website or somewhere, uh, it is sometimes it is multiple selected value. So, for example, you can select SF, the San Francisco, as well as New York City. So what you can do is simply specify multi is equals to true. So when you say multi is equals to true and execute this and execute it, uh, the multiple selections will be enabled for us. So for example, by default, we have selected New York City. If I come over here and select Raleigh Durham, it will be select and uh, San Francisco, it will be selected. And if I want, I can just remove this. this you can see this cross sign over here right so that's the uh, first option I wanted to talk about which is uh, which is multi is equals to true so let me interrupt it first so that I can show you the next one so I have interrupted and let me come over here second option I want to show you is uh, basically a placeholder so let me remove this and uh, let me say placeholder equals to select a city and let me remove this default value so that there is no default value and we have this placeholder select a city all right if i execute this and i execute this and with this now you can see that we don't need this label right uh, which we have uh, created using this because we are in the drop down itself saying select a city or choose a city this way we can save the space in our application and make it more and more uh, user friendly for our end user so let's go ahead and select city as we select you know that that option is gone so that's how you can provide the placeholder text to a drop down for the next one let me interrupt and uh, instead of placeholder what we can do is sometimes let's say based on some condition you want to disable it so the property is basically disabled is equals to true execute it execute it my option i cannot select anything because i have disabled it right so with this you can basically Put our condition disable is equals to true and it can be based on some sort of a condition that if previous filter is not selected then current filter is set to disable is equals to false so you we we can actually do all of that different types of coding and and make it interactive and conditional application so that's one one of the property so for another property let me interrupt this for now and uh, the next property is basically your lib disabling the labels so for example i just remove this all right and here let's say i want to disable this so again same disabled is true all right execute this fine this one and if you see my this option i am just trying to click but I'm not able to but if I select this I can select this. so this is how uh, you can basically specify um, about the different options or the different settings that you can do I just wanted to give you a gist about uh, the diff the important settings which are available and which you can specify within a drop down to to make the best use of it so that's pretty much have, uh, I have uh, for you in this video and if you like it go ahead and hit the like button and if you want all of these videos directly in your inbox go ahead and subscribe it and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.